happened to you? Do you ever have a normal day? Yeah, once. It was a Thursday. Is there something I can help you with, Detective? Hey, do you like cats? What? Cats. Do you like them? No, I'm allergic. You're saying cats did this to you? How the hell would cats do this to me? Are you crazy? Why are we talking about cats? Because I have a cat in my trunk, and he's homeless. Detective, are you going to tell me what's going on? You know, it's, it's actually probably my fault. You know, I think I'm like a malfunction magnet because your shit keeps malfunctioning around me. A demo bot just tore through Landing's house with me still inside. It's highly improbable. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure it is. What do you know about the ghosts in the machine? It's a phrase from Lanning's work on the three laws. He postulated that cognitive simulacra might one day approximate component models of the psyche. Oh, he suggested that robots might naturally evolve. Wow. Well, that's great news. <sighs> What the hell was that thing doing in here? We were watching TV. It's my personal NS5. Send it out. It's downloading its daily upgrades from the USR. Most of its systems are offline until it finishes. I'm not talking around that thing. When we were in Landing's lab before uh, Sonny jumped us. Sonny? The robot. You're calling the robot Sonny? No, I'm, it did. Sonny did. I didn't give, I didn't care. The robot said it was Sonny. In the lab, there was a cot. I'm asking you, did you see the cot? I slept in my office. When I went to his house, it looked like he hadn't been there in weeks, and I saw that same surveillance strip on his ceiling. Lanning linked his home systems to USR. It made his life more convenient. M maybe somebody at USR was using those systems to watch him. Maybe even keep him prisoner. What are you talking about? Who? Maybe Lanning was onto something. Maybe there's a bigger problem with the robots, and Robertson is trying to cover it up. Humoring you for no reason. Why? The same old why. How, how much money is there in robots? All I know is that old man was in trouble, and I'm getting sick of doing this shit by myself. You're on the inside, and you are going to help me find out what is wrong with these robots. You want something to be wrong with them. This is a personal vendetta. You're putting me on the couch? Then I'm okay. I'm on the couch. One defective machine's not enough. You need them all to be bad. You don't care about Lanning's death. This is about the robots and whatever reason you hate them so much. Well, let's see. One of them put a gun in my face, and another one tore a building down with me inside. It says demolition was scheduled for 8 p.m. this evening. It was 8 a.m. tomorrow, and I don't give a shit what that thing says. This is bordering on clinical paranoia. You are the dumbest smart person I have ever met in my life. Nice. What makes your robot so perfect? What makes them so much goddamn better than human beings? Well, they're not irrational and potentially homicidal maniacs, for starters. That's true. They are definitely rational. You are the dumbest dumb person I have ever met. Or is it because they're cold and emotionless and they don't feel anything? It's because they're safe. It's because they can't hurt you. Is everything all right, ma'am? Well, what do you want? I detected elevated stress patterns in your voice. Everything's fine. Detective Spooner was just leaving. You know what, Doc? You know, we're not really that different from one another. Is that so? One look at the scan and we figure we know just what's underneath. And you're wrong. Problem is I do care. <laughs>